six years straight, I've been spitting getting fly. I mean, I'ma, I'ma never let you lie. People in the past, yeah, I had to cut the tie. I'm on top, and you wanna know why? Six years straight, I've been spitting getting fly. I mean, I'ma, I'ma never let you lie. So guys, what's going down? It is your boy Freeze, and we're out here, beautiful Gold Coast, as always, back at my favorite track. The grass track so the calf has recovered up as you guys might know I've been off the running since the calf did heal up um, after that injury which was at this track about three and a half weeks ago now um, man, it was yeah it was some painful stuff but we're over it but coming back here it's bringing back the memories of that last 30 meters on the 400 that I ran but in continuing with the spirit of these challenges we're here today we're gonna do a mile test run so I've never actually ran a mile for pace before I'm very excited to do this uh, this is something that I've seen a lot of uh, people do on YouTube I'm really into the kind of running YouTube scene and I see that the mile is that kind of it's kind of that perfect combination of your short distance but also it like actually involves a lot more cardio in it as well so I'm excited to hit it today and see as always we're going to see how close I can get to the world record as a beginner runner now it's 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 not going to be close because these world records on anything the 100 meters the 200 meters 400 meters 800 meters even like the marathon we can go any world record they're all insane guys the people that are doing these uh I mean it's literally the best person in the world think about seven billion people and over the time frame of I don't know a hundred years or something it's like how many it's more than seven billion people man that you've got to be the best at to break these records so obviously I'm not going to be close but as always we're going to give it a crack so the world record was actually this man named Hikam Al Jazeera no Hicham Al Gerdo I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but shout out to that guy man he broke this world record for the mile in 1973 so it's not often that a world record would stand for more than you know 30 40 it's almost 50 years that's been standing you know you know with the advances in things like shoe technology even though it's not much but it's just that little bit and then also the full-time training of people now you know that guy probably was working a job as well as training for the olympics and stuff you know to do that so yeah, it's pretty crazy man it, it makes me excited about this one today so like i said i've never ran a mile before for time so i'm just really interested to see how it's going to go a mile is going to be four laps on the track plus 10 meters so 1609 meters exactly is a mile so i'm gonna have my start line about 10 meters before the actual start line here on the track and then do the four laps so my goal today is probably to break five minutes i think even that's quite difficult uh world record three minutes 43 so think about that that's um that's pretty nuts so to break five minutes judging off my pace it's going to have to be about a minute and 15 seconds per lap so for my last vid the 400 meter vid that i actually did if you go back and watch that you'll see that my fast lap which i ran i said i'm just going to run a fast running pace lap to see what i can do and i did a minute 15 and i was actually pretty tired after that in terms of my respiratory system so um to be able to string together four of those will break five minutes maybe i can try go a little bit faster but you know we'll see again it's on the grass so it's going to be a bit less responsive compared to a, a rubber track and if i had some spikes on and stuff like that but we're going to see how we go today i'm going to get into the warm-up as per usual if you enjoy these vids drop a comment below drop a thumbs up the main reason i want to do these vids guys is not only because i enjoy it but i also want to inspire a lot of you guys out there who watch me to just go for a run come down to a track and just see what you can do you know just like actually just try do one lap and see how fast you can do it try do 100 meters see what you can get you know it's actually very rewarding to just try this stuff even to get a perspective and maybe even you'll get into it and you want to try get better you know that's how i'm feeling about doing this stuff so without further ado we're going to get into it i'm going to do my warm-up drills i'll probably have a separate vid on the channel just going over my warm-up drills because i have been getting a few questions about them so we're just going to get into it let's freaking go I'm on top and you wanna know why Six years straight, I've been spitting getting fly I mean, I'ma, I'ma never let you lie People in the past, yeah, I had to cut the tie I'm on top and you wanna know why Six years straight, I've been spitting getting fly I mean, I'ma, I'ma never let you lie People in the past, yeah, I had to cut the tie I had to cut them, but nothing like a ribbon Better get it close and really take a listen Had to take a step back, analyze my vision And now it's crystal clear like the water I swim in Nowadays, everyone really love hip Pop, doing dances, I love on TikTok. Right foot, left foot, slide. Do it like Drizzy, this a two seat vibe. I'll inspire you from the 305. But now I'm back home and stuck inside. Quarantine right, so feeling pretty warm. To be honest, actually, my hamstring is feeling a little bit dodgy. I don't know if you guys saw on my channel, I did a 2.5Ks a couple of days ago. It was actually a three kilometer PB attempt, and I didn't make the three kilometers because my watch was spazzing out on me, and I just 
I gave out but um, yeah my hamstrings just been a bit tight since then uh, and it's kind of just creeping up on me now so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a couple of like 50 meter stride outs just three of them one slow one medium one a little bit faster and just see how I'm feeling um, because this is not a sprint of the four laps it's a fast run we might be all right if we we're gonna be doing any sprinting less than 400 meters today I just I just wouldn't do it at all because it wouldn't be worth putting that pressure on but I think we might be able to get away with it today but Back and I'm preaching my philosophies. I ain't doing business unless you learn to do it properly. Try and get my brother, invest in some property. I've been spending so much. All yeah, I think we'll be right. Let's give it a crack. Fluids, you ain't as hot as me, and you knew it. I'm the motherfucker crazy enough to do it. Crystal ball in my hands, looking right through it. Playing tag with the grace, and they said you it. For the W. If I don't respond, then it mean I don't fuck with you. A four bitches hating, and they really still in love with you. I'm the wrong one, you shouldn't say shut up to. Who? Me? Cool like that. Motherfucker test my temper, then I come right back. They don't wanna see me spaz, they just wanna see some sad songs. Now I'm back, and I'm really about to rap strong. From bad blunt, mixed with Shaq Run. Better get your flash on, I'm fast gun. Boom. I reckon that is the fourth or fifth time I've met Jesus this year in person. <laughs> that was hard. That was so hard. I'm pretty sure my watch clocked me five minutes 29. So the goal was five. I was 30 seconds off. Like with all these first time trying these things, I'm not disimpressed with it because when you do these kind of runs, whether it's the 400, 800, 3K, 5K, the mile. You think, as someone who doesn't run, you just go out there and run as fast as you can, or you run at the pace you think you can do for that time period. But if you haven't done certain time periods, it's very hard to gauge. And you can see that just with some practice of conditioning and of where to, you know, first of all, getting your body in a position where it's capable of being specialized to that distance, you know what I mean? Obviously, in the Olympics, whether it's a 100 meter sprint or it's a one mile, each athlete is conditioned to try peak on that one event. So yeah, that was, that was good. I'm, I'm happy to start there, you know. Uh, my fitness right now has a, a lot to go, I think. Yeah, interesting, I guess. It's not, it's not too bad, I don't, I don't think. I think from research I've done, even just to be able to break six minutes is not too bad. But it's just crazy because, you know, you look at the YouTubers who document their running and stuff. There's like that level of just like, you know, someone who's actually fit and runs. And then there's the level of like the specialized going to the Olympics for it and it's like those guys just blow these times out of the water but like I said I'm pretty sure you know an average time for a mile if you can break six minutes is actually pretty good so you know that's where we're starting so I'm only gonna get better the more I run hamstring seems to pull up fine no issues with the calf no blisters nothing like that so another exciting workout in the books but yeah that was phenomenally hard my goal is to just do a bit of training for everything so like this the 100 meter sprints these kind of longer distance like the three to five k's and just kind of see where i end up i feel like for me i'm just kind of that athlete that's okay at every single one the short distance the long distance the medium distance i want to see if i can find my spot in one of those whether that's 100 200 maybe that 800 1.5 or maybe the 3 to 5k and personally I don't think anything over 5k I just I get bored with the really long stuff but you never know maybe I'll 
I'll get into that as well. But anyway, gonna end the vid there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I was saying, my main goal with doing these kind of vids is to inspire you guys to get out and try some running, try something different. It's so easy, you know, especially with the current uh, liquidity of the world at the moment with what's going down, people going into lockdowns, gyms closing, stuff like that. You know, there's always a park outside that you can go run at, go for a run down the street. You can run in something which you can literally do everywhere and you're not limited by lack of equipment, which I think it's very cool because it's such a low barrier to get into it. Just make sure you get a good pair of running shoes. That's what I'd say. So gonna end the vid here, guys. Comment below if you enjoyed. Thumbs it up, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. We're yet to film a 5K here on the channel. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be coming up. So stay tuned for that one. And also as well, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of my training vids, um, some swipe vids of how I'm training to get more explosive. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more explosive weight training sessions. And I'll probably also on the YouTube channel here be documenting my workouts to try get better at the sprints because my main goal is actually the 100 meter sprint. I really do want to see see how low I can get on that. So that's kind of like my main focus. But then I'm just kind of running these longer distances just for my general fitness. But it's cool to do these little tests and see if we can get better at that as well. So getting in the vid here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.